I did a previous video about cutters and parenting where I talked about how in the newer versions of hard ops, if you press control tilde, you can go under your Boolean options and there'll be options for you to have your bull shapes parented by either a Boolean operation or the sharpen operation via the late parenting system. But this file that I have open is an older file, so it's before those systems existed. So that means if I grab the suitcase and I move it, you can see that the cutters stay in place. However, you know, it, the mirror point goes with it and this sort of system just isn't acceptable. So of course, the first thing I wanna do is just select everything and then parent it to the main shape. That way I can at least just move it. However, the cutters, as you see, are still something problematic. So for that, we made late parent where you can just go in and just choose late parent and it will actually parent the booleans. It'll tell you how many it parented and how many objects are selected at the end. And then just like that, you're able to move your object just like you want to. However, of course, I personally recommend that once you have it set up like this, you press control G, make it a new collection, just call it suitcase. And then when you shift A and use a collection instance of suitcase, you can actually move it around and it's a lot more uh, computationally friendly on your computer than having to move around something like this and actually finding it to be a little bit slower on your computer, especially with all your modifiers kept live. A collection instance is definitely a lot better for that. I hope to continue talking about shortcomings I find that happen in these tools and ways we can continue to improve because that's the only way we'll be able to move forward. So I'm just gonna press Alt W and start box cutter real quick and notice that I have parent shape on. So we're using the best that box cutter has and we're going to just go ahead and just draw a box and I'm going to shift to live. And so we're gonna look at this in the front and I'm gonna draw a box cutting into the shape that we shifted to live and I'm gonna hold shift to shift that to live. So basically we're modifying a cutter on a cutter. So basically instead of you know, simply cutting the target mesh, we are cutting the target's target or the uh, target's cutter's cutter. So at this point, you would wanna move things around, right? So I would go under operations and I would choose late parent. However, you can see that one Boolean total was found, one Boolean was parented and one object selected. So what this means is that when I move it, it's not going to move the correct object. And this was a shortcoming of late parent and I actually ran into it more often than I'd care to admit. It drove me crazy. So here we are back again using the latest hard ops underscore nine for this one. If I press alt W, I jump over to box cutter and we see that parent shape is still on. So we give it the same system of testing as before. And so we start off drawing our box. I'm going to shift it to live and then move the view down, hold alt to just kind of snap it. And I'm just going to draw a box and then let go of left mouse button, but hold shift and then left mouse click in order to keep this shape live. And then I can tab in, just grab this and move it around. So we have the same setup as before. So I'll select the main shape. And if we press Q, we can go under operations and choose late parent. And we see that two Booleans total were parented with a total of four. And if we move the object, now everything is performing the way it's supposed to. And that is what recursive late parent is all about. So if you're curious as to whether or not your version has this, just hovering over it will show you the tooltip, which will now mention retroactively connecting cutters to the parent, but also supporting recursion, which is the cutters of cutters. So just to you know have a little fun here, let's actually see how deep it goes. So we'll cut this cutter and then we'll cut this cutter, shifting each of them to live, shifting this one to live, shifting this one to live. It gets a little hypnotizing. Shifting to live continuously. And so at the very end, we'll select this shape, choose late parent, and we are now good to go. And all of our cutters have been parented. So I opened up one of my old files and wanted to use it as an example, but oh no, all my decals are not showing. So I'll just select everything, bring open the end panel, and we'll just jump over to machine and choose fix texture paths, and we're good to go. So, you know, if I grab this top piece and we move it, you can see that the cutters stay in place. And that's because this object was made before late parent existed, but we'll just select this top piece and the bottom piece and this middle piece, and we'll just go under operations and choose late parent. 
and now we have everything parented. However, let's say I want to move everything at the same time. I'll just select everything on screen and just shift select this main top piece, press control P. And I like to use object keep transform and that should actually parent it without changing any of its transformations, allowing it to keep the same appearance. In this case, since there's a lot going on, it may take a moment, but now I'm able to just grab this top piece and actually move things around without any issue, except for it looks like some little piece that was hidden inside of here. So more than likely I need to select this and also perform a late parent, and then I'm able to fully move this piece. However, you can see that things get a little bit slow. Another thing that I want to remind users of is that, you know, late parents, one of those utility things that right now is exposed to you to user until we really perfect how to integrate it into the core of hard ops. Uh, there's other things that are also very similar. For example, if I press one, you can see I'm on a collection with everything. If I look at collection two, I'm on a collection with uh, the object and all my decals. And if we look at the rest of these collections, this one is pretty much just a cutters collection. And so this scene's actually pretty well organized for being one of my older scenes. So there's no reason to actually go under settings and talk to you guys about unify, evict, and sync because this scene is actually pretty well unified. But that'll wrap it up for this video on Late Parent, and I'll see you guys next time.